Samsung, proud sponsor of TechBusters. I'm, I am always very cautious about using the term breakthrough. Uh, so it's not something we'd likely do uh, because, you know, breaking through which barrier of knowledge into which new frontier of science is it genuinely a breakthrough or is it just something that a few researchers feel good about? So we, we scrutinize this uh, rather carefully before we say, but here really is a first. Here really is a breakthrough. Now, laser devices traditionally consist of mirrors, light, and a casing containing crystal or glass, which also makes them very expensive to make. But the CSIR unveiled their world-first digital laser last week, which could very well be changing all of that. Sandile Ngobo is a PhD candidate at UKZN, and it's his work that led to this discovery. Thanks for being here, Sandile. Good evening to you. And when you look at the uh, Minister of Science and Technology, Derek Hanekom, saying those kind of things, you must be a very proud man. Yes, I was very happy about the uh, discovery and what I've done and for what the team has actually done at CSR. To actually get now, pretend you meet me walking down the street and you've got to explain to me what exactly you've done. Because for most people to comprehend this amazing feat that you've managed to achieve with the laser is quite difficult. So in layman's, in layman's language, what have you actually managed to do? What I've managed actually to show is that um, you can change the beam, the laser beam, the light that comes out of a laser right. that you actually usually observe as just a dot in most cases. Yes. Like when you do your presentation, you usually have a laser and you look at it and it's just a, a point. Yes. Now what you can do is now you can change that point to some whatever profile you want. Let's say you want, to, so we want it to be a circle, not a point. We want it to be like a square kind of a point or whatever profile that you want, shape that you want with the, the laser light to be while that's being done inside the laser. That's so you've basically important. taken a, a laser that points straight and you've able to change the direction of that laser beam. Yes, you can change the direction, but in this case what we're doing is that we've changed the shape, how it looks like. How did you do that? You use uh, an LCD screen, uh, like your television screen. It's got very little uh, pixelated uh, uh, mirrors in it, um, crystals, that's what they call them. Right. So what we've done, we've, done, we've taken a miniature one, a very small one, and we've actually replaced one of the mirrors inside the laser itself, laser casing. It's amazing stuff, Sandile, because mm. this is a world first. I mean, people have been trying to do this for a long time. Nobody's successfully done it. Mm. Sandile has been working on it for the last three years. You, you've managed to do that. Um, I mean, how, how are you feeling? How, how, what's, what's been the reaction from the rest of the world? Have people been phoning you from other universities saying, Sandile, how did you do this? Wh wh what technology have you used? Yes. What's the reaction been like? Yes, the reaction has been very, very good. Um, when, I, when it first came out first, uh, not American people actually had uh, some kind of a Skype with them asking, how did I get it to work? They've been trying for quite a while. So what kind of applications are we looking at? As I'm talking to you right now, I'm thinking communications, I'm thinking manufacturing. Where can this be applied? If you think about it, uh, everyone owns a laser. Right. What do you mean everybody owns a laser? <laughs> do I have a laser? Well, Where's my do laser? You have, do you have a, a CD player in your home? Yes, that's right. That's <laughs> right. Inside the CD player. Absolutely. Yes, you have a printer. I do. <laughs> when you go to the shop, what do you do? There's a laser that makes your life easy. Scans your things, that's right. So lasers are everywhere in our case. It's almost like going to take over the world. So to have actually digital laser, which can actually simplify a lot of uh, applications, also other applications that people didn't even think of because there was no such a device. So basically it is a kind of like a, a future. As you're talking now, I'm Ooh. thinking the costs of owning a laser come down dramatically because you just need one as opposed to getting another laser to change the shape and everything. So what are you going to do with this idea now? W w where do you take something like this that you've had a world first with? We are busy currently trying to improve it because currently it's more of a lab demonstration that actually does work. Yes, there are other applications that you can actually use even in this current form. Yes. But for other future applications, uh, Yes, we have to improve the power handling of it and uh, make it faster and do a whole lot of other improvement that we need for different applications. That's absolutely amazing. So when am I going to start calling you Dr. Ngobo? Come next year. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Sandile Ngobo, soon to be Dr. Ngobo, a world first for lasers, right here on Tech Busters.